You know one of my favorite dance moves, Nicole? What? I glide. I glide. <laughs> yeah, you one. see what That's I did there? Uh -huh. Plus, I got all of this like candy <laughs> in a candy store I get to play with. Nicole, we're talking about self-lubrication. Yeah, I see a big smile. Yeah. She liked that intro. I tried to do I my did, best. I did. All right, plastic replaces metal. What yep. are we looking at in this video? Yeah, so here we're looking at our iGlide bearings. These are all plain bearings. Again, we're using our test facility here in our German facility as well as here. We test a number of different materials and really we make sure that they can be used in your application. We know how long they'll last in your application. You just see a very small subset of our materials here. We have over 60 different materials just in our catalog with thousands of research materials behind the scenes. So if we don't have something that can solve your application in the catalog, we know we can do it um, somewhere else. So just reach out to us, ask questions. All of our bearings are homogeneously blended, so they're using a base plastic for wear resistance, self-lubricants, dry lubricants for um, mitigation of friction, and then of course we have fibers and or filaments for use in strength, adding strength to the application. You said to reach out if we have questions. Well, I got a lot of questions, yeah. so I'm gonna go ahead and Let's reach go. out. Is that all, all right? right? Absolutely. First question is, is that largest polymer bearing test lab? It is, yeah, are so you definitely. Kidding me? Nope, not kidding. Um, if you ever have the chance to go to Cologne, Germany, I would highly recommend that you stop by our facility, see the bearings working for themselves. This testing, we do testing not only for our own materials, for our own catalog and our own numbers. We don't want to give you a theoretical number. These will work for this long. We want it to be based on actual testing, but we also do customer tests. So if you don't have time to test something, we can do it for you. Did you just invite me to Germany? I did. Did you invite the audience to Germany? Come to Germany. Everyone? Yes. We could all take a look? Absolutely. I like you, Nicole. You're <laughs> all right. All right, I've seen a scale here. I'm imagining this isn't yep. about Zodiacs, is it? It is not, no. So our bearings are five times lighter than traditional metal bearings in any type of application. So when we're talking about different areas or industries, you can see exactly why rate, weight reduction is important. Um, improving fuel economy, which of course also helps the environment, um, but also helping to reduce any type of, or I should say increase battery life in certain applications, AGVs, so on and so forth. As I'm sliding down here, it looks like what my closet looked like as a child actually. Yeah. Just bits and pieces of toys everywhere. Yeah. Why am I seeing so many different components in this box? Because if I'm an engineer, which I actually am, but I'm an engineer at a trade show and I see something like this, I'm gonna be here for hours. Yeah. Also, I've seen something like this at science museums, yeah. which I've referenced previously <laughs> in other videos with you. Yeah, absolutely. So good, this is what we want, right? This we want you to we come want. and play with our products. We want you to see them, pick them up, touch them, feel them. Our Bearings can be configured in a lot of different geometries as well, right? So here we see our traditional round bearings, either with a flange or without a flange, thrust washers, but we realize and recognize that that's not what people always need, right? There are times that somebody needs something different, a uh, different sliding mechanism, a roller, a gear, and so we're able to configure and make custom parts for that as well. Well done, I like it. Let's keep on going down. I love things that move, by yes, the way. Things and move. this looks like it's pinching something, but I bet that's not actually what's happening. No, is it? it's not. Much like everything else, you've told me you look at me and go Tony yeah no yeah <laughs> no that's not what it is all right what are we doing here Nicole so here we're showing you our injection molding machine which is actually using 3d printed technology so this is what we call print to mold so we're able to injection molding and tools for injection molding can sometimes take a little bit of time we are able to 3d print the tools and then produce parts in a much faster time frame for you and speaking of fast custom parts we also have something now called our fast line program which uses traditional injection molding using the same technology that we use for all of our catalog items to produce parts that can be can be used for mass production later on in really quick time frames. So we're able to create a new tool for you in one to two weeks, which traditionally is unheard of. All right, as we slide down, I got this funny feeling you're gonna put me on a magic carpet because you're taking me to a whole new world. I cannot <laughs> believe that you're doing this as well. Fascinating. 3D printing is something I love. Gears are something I love as well yeah. because that is an art form. The people who make gears are an art right. form. Let's talk a little bit about additive and 3D printing. Sure. So we actually started out doing our gears through additive manufacturing. So we take, again, all the same technology that you had and we talked about for the plane bearings um, previously, and we put it into 3D 
printing. So we know we need rapid prototypes, the world moves really fast, engineers move really fast, and they need fast solutions. So we can use our 3D printing technology, print parts that are highly wear resistant, and you're able to test in your application or use, right, depending on the quantity. So if you don't need something that needs mass production, millions of pieces, we can do something really quick and cheap for you. I like it, inexpensive for sure. If we just take a quick glance over my yeah. shoulder at that room, as we continue to move down here, oh, this resin. We're gonna yeah. have a separate video just on the resin, Yeah, the resin's we? really cool. Don't look, guys, don't <laughs> look. We're not gonna show this one just yet. We have a video of our own. All right, last two little pieces here. Yeah. Looks like optimized for friction and wear, and then we have some wear resistant. Uh, bar stock, are you, what are we providing here? What is this setup to show us? Yeah, so we also have applications where, let's say the tolerances need to be extremely, extremely tight, uh, tighter than we can get with injection molding. In that case, machining is sometimes an option. We have bar stock in over 30 of our materials, so we can machine uh, products for that as well. Sometimes it has nothing to do with tolerances. Sometimes people just want to test something before they make a tool or we make a tool for them. So we're able to use that for quick customs and prototyping reasons. Perfectly done, Nicole. As always, you are the pro. You could probably take my job. I should just hand you my microphone, right? <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna actually do that. I will close this thing out for Nicole, but she is a pro. Anything that we didn't cover that you would like to cover before we finish here? Yeah, maybe just really quickly. We also have a 3D printing service. We touched, about th touched on 3D printing a little bit, but we have a 3D printing service. You can see our 3D printers here. We can do SLS services. Um, we actually have a really easy tool on our website. You drop an account model it will tell you you can order the parts directly from there we'll print them and ship them out in 24 to 48 hours Nicole when somebody calls you and they're going to ask you a question about can you help me do you say yes even before the questions asked because I feel like you guys do everything I feel like most of the time the answer is definitely <laughs> just yes just say right? yes before yeah. you ask the question right? right exactly almost like jeopardy we're doing it in reverse yeah exactly <laughs> well Nicole again you are amazing I hope this has been educational for everyone watching as well thank you for your time it's the one thing we cannot manufacture or inject more of into our lives so thank you for spending it with us it's so very valuable nicole always a pleasure thank you so much tony